Good morning, everybody. This is just a quick video to show you how to access Gmetrics online on your Chromebook. The first thing you want to do is to go into this website, gmetrics.net, um, and all the other mumbo jumbo behind it. I will put a link exactly to this um, in your Google Classroom assignment for today. This is where you will go in to practice Gmetrics from home or wherever you are. Um, you should be able to simply sign in using the G, the Google here uh, login. So just click on that. Choose your email. And then you should see all of your recent activity. Go to test. New test, Office 2019, and we're in Word. Now, normally what happens on your computer is that you go to exam one here or exam two here, but on your Chromebook, you won't do that. Simply scroll down because you don't have a full version of Microsoft Office on your Chromebook because it's not big enough, you have to use the simulation practice. So you have Word Associate 2019 simulation practice test here for practice test one and then practice test two here. Let's go ahead and go into practice test two. We're gonna choose training mode. And the first thing you'll notice is uh, that you have this page loading on your screen. And that's just because all of the information that you normally have that comes up on your desktop with Microsoft Word is loading. Um, so it's a simulation. It's going to look like the desktop, but it's not going to be the desktop. Um, so this is just on, on an online version. So all of your tools are there. You're going to scroll down to see the, the entire document, okay? All right. And notice that your instruction pane is at the top. It's not at the bottom like normal. So your instructions are here. Add page numbering to the bottom of all pages in the accent bar for format. Close out the header and footer after view. Um, footer view after adding the page numbering okay so you'll notice that it's the same tasks if you go to next okay so it did I, I clicked next and i didn't solve it so um it is telling me my answer is incorrect so if i want to go back i can go back but i do want to show you that these are the same tasks that are on your um, desktop in class Add the tag course to the document, return the document to the document view after adding the tag. So it's the same thing and you, you simply go in. So it's saying add tag course to the document. So we're going to go in and do this. The only thing is you have to get used to the scrolling in here. Okay, we're gonna go to info. We're going to, oh, here's tags, click tags, and then we're going to add course. And remember, when you have to put in, well, I would rather copy and paste, but it's copy and paste is not letting us. So remember when you're putting in your, um, whatever text you need to add in, you are going to put capitals where capitals are, and lower cases where lower cases are. So I wouldn't put this in all caps because it would be wrong. I put in my course right here in tags. Now I'm going to go back and oh, go back up, go to next. Oh, good, your answer is correct. Okay, so that is how you are going to navigate Gmetrics on your Chromebook. If you have any questions, drop them below in the um, in the comment section of your Google Classroom assignment. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. You guys have a great and wonderful weekend, and I will see you 
on Monday. Bye, guys.